good morning guys um it's your brother supreme leader and i am here with you guys today it's morning out here and it's a bit uh what do you call it it's a bit cold and uh let me see what is the temperature the temperature is around 16 degrees today um yeah uh, 16 degrees today and uh, i'm going for i'm going for yesterday i went for a regular checkup i couldn't i wasn't able to show you guys what i i did yesterday but today i'll be going to this particular spot here I'm going to do this uh, test. Just it's a regular, it's a regular uh, test that I have to be doing, just to know if everything is fine with me. Yeah. So uh, I'm driving to that location, and I'm going to take you guys to a bit of how it looks out here. Sometimes. Uh, you might be coming to Brazil and you might want to uh, go through these kind of things. It's like a regular checkup and also a test. So let me quickly uh, begin the driving and then we can take it from there. It's inside Agua's Claras though. Guys, I am um, a and one thing about Brasilia is to get a parking spot here is very difficult, you know. Getting a back parking spot here can be very, very difficult at times. Uh, but all the same, all the same, I will, I have been able to park my car somewhere. You can see why I, I, I I parked the car and I'm walking towards the the place where I'm going to do the, the it is just a regular blood test that I'm going to do yeah guys and um, it's inside here in Agos Claras okay it's, it's not far away it's close to my my house let me see. Sorry. All right, so guys, guys, just subscribe, guys. Try, try, and then subscribe to this channel. Okay, it's free. You don't have to pay a dime. It's just free. Click just to support the channel. You can also join me on uh, Telegram. I always leave the link at the. Uh, description box all right guys I'm at the spot now so let me see bom dia então é para fazer esses exames aqui eu acho que essa aqui no fim vocês fazem esse aqui também ok esse aqui dá para fazer né Sim, sim, sim. E olha esse aqui também. É, a gente, a gente faz esse, realiza esse exame, só que ele tem que ser agendado. Ah, tem que ser Mas agendado. Mas se você for lá, pedir aqui, você pode estar agendado. Agendado, tá, tá bom. bom? Tá bom. Vou lhe dar uma senha, tá? Tá bom. Mas esse aqui, não, né? Aí você, quando você estiver lá, você vai ver que você marca ah, também junto com essa aqui. Ah, tá, tá bom. <risos> tá bom, bom dia. A senha aqui. Tá bom, obrigado. Oh. Alright, so guys, uh, I have to wait for them to call. My number is 16. My number is 16, guys. So it is, it is normal, guys. It is simply normal to. Uh, 
Okay, it is something that I have to let you guys know. Okay, it's very, very important to let you guys know about this. Um, so, in Brazil, when, for example, you come or you go to, let me just say, everywhere you go, okay, everywhere you go, you go to the bank, you go to, you come to a place like this. This place is a mini clinic, okay, and uh, basically what they do here is they do blood tests, any type of test, any type of test that you want to do, they do it here, okay. So, um, it is, somebody might ask, is it a government uh, uh, facility? No, it's not a government facility. It is actually, uh, what do you call it? Um, it is a private facility, okay? But sometimes, if you go to the government hospital, they can recommend you to come to places like this, like this to do the kind of test that they want, yeah? So, it looks good, right? It is very, very clean. It has uh, places to sit, basically. You see, there were places to sit here. And when you get this one here, you get a number, okay? This is my number here. I got this number, so I'm waiting for, my, for, for them to call me. My number is 16. So, they will soon call me. So, when they call me, then... I will go there and then talk to them. Uh, so like I was saying, um, the kind of, somebody will ask, the kind of exam, oh, so the kind of test that they do here, don't they do it in the government facility? Yes, they do it. They do those tests in the government facility as well. But uh, here it's a bit quicker than the government facility, okay? Uh, here it's a bit quicker. Government facility is actually free, but here you have to pay for it. And uh, if you have uh, what do you call it, uh, health insurance, uh, you can use your health insurance to pay. So, in my case, I have a, I have health insurance. So that is what I'm going to use. Here, everything is digital. One thing I have to let you guys know, everything is digital. From your ID, driver's lances, and uh, any type of card, like bank card, everything is digital. So you only need your cell phone. The kind of cell phone you use, if your cell phone does all these NFC things, then you are good to go. And um, another thing I wanted us to talk about is very, very simple. And uh, I have to remember you guys, everywhere you go, you need to pay attention to these numbers here. They have this kind of machines over there. And this kind of machines that they have, you only have to, you know, it's very simple to get the, the number, okay? If you don't know how to do it, they have people who can assist you too as well, like the lady behind the machine. She can simply assist you to, to do whatever you want to do, okay? So let's just wait a bit for them to call me. Then I can take you guys there too as well. Yeah. All right, guys. So I've been called to number six. I'm walking towards that side. Bom dia, estou bem, graças a Deus, e você? Então, é, queria saber, essas exames aqui, quais são os que vocês fazem? Yes, guys, so... Um, Se você quiser coletar agora, você pode ajudar. Estou. Dá para coletar agora. Isso, desde 10 uh, horas. Então, dá para coletar. Dá pra agora, coletar. esse daqui, a ultrassonografia, precisa agendar. Ah, tá, tá bom. Pode ser. Esse é... É... Pode 
Tá bom. É, eu vou procurar <risos> para fazer. Então, como, como, como esse aqui funciona? Esse aqui. Como ele funciona? Ele é a ecografia da tireoide. Ah, entendi. Exatamente. Tá ele bom. não pediu dor por mim, nada para o seu convênio. Tá bom. Convênio é convênio? É convênio. É, Sul América. Posso. Deixa eu ver aqui rapidinho. Guys, like I said, I have to simply uh, use my insurance card. So that is what I'm looking for right now on my phone. I'm going to show it to her so that she can simply go through it. And uh, you know, the funny thing about this uh, test that I'm going to do is um, I don't have to eat. Like basically, you have to be. You have to fast so that you can do the, the, the test. So I did it. So she was even asking me if I did it. I think this is it. So, like I said, everything is basically digital. You know, it's digital here in Brazil. So, should in case you come to Brazil, uh, you shouldn't be surprised about all these kind of things here. And, uh, ah, document, document, document. Yes. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to show her my ID card, okay? She wanted to see my ID, so I have the ID here. Uh, I'm going to give it to her. So, yeah, she's going to check it out. So, like I said, everything is, is digital. So, this is one good thing about Brazil. It's digital, you don't have to be working with that. Yes. 07. Yes. Pode ser? Pode ser. E o endereço é sh.com.br? Pode ser. Pode ser. Isso. Isso mesmo. Isso mesmo. I was simply confirming some, I would call it some information uh, with her. Yeah, so guys, this is it. And uh, I'm simply trying to get it done. She's going to put everything in the system today. From there, we pick it from there. Then I'll get it done. So um, yeah, so most of the tests when you are going to do them, they simply need uh, what do you call it? Uh, they want you not to eat. Like you don't have to eat in about eight hours, nine hours, for you to be able to do that. The, those kind of tests. So I think this is one of them. And lucky for me, I didn't eat since uh, 10 p.m. yesterday to date. So I can quickly do it. Tá bom. Aqui. Isso. All right. So yeah. So you have to be aware of this, okay? When you come to this kind of institutions, as institutions, like if you come to this kind of places, you have to first remember you need uh, what do you call it? a number so that you can just sit down and wait for them to call you. It's not like in my country where there is no number, you just go there, people are standing in a queue or a line. But here it's very simple, you take the number and then there is a comfortable place for you to sit. And also, I think there is a urinal here as well. Yeah. There is always a urinal in these kind of places, so in case you want to use it too as well. Yes. All right, guys. So um, I am going to wait for them to call me, and then I'll go there with you guys, so that you guys can also see how it's being done. Um, I think one of my tests that I'll be doing, I have to book an appointment for that. So that is what I'm going to be doing. And uh, yeah, 
So let's let's simply wait. They will, they will be calling me by name. So let's see if they know how to even pronounce my name. Yeah, because normally they don't know how to pronounce the name correctly. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be waiting. So guys, this is this is what I bought at the shop yesterday. No, on Sunday. This is what I bought, and I'm I'm using it already. Okay, I'm using it already. So in case you want to see how it looks, this is how it looks. It is uh, a product from um, Adidas. Okay, and um, I bought it there. So yeah, I'm using it now. Hmm. It's not heavy, it's very light. You don't even feel like you are wearing something. It is very good. So let's wait for them to call me. Pardon. Guys, I've been called. Pardon. I've been called to come and do the test. Guys, they have given a spot. They have spot for children. So if you bring your child for a test, they have a place to play. Taproot. Okay. Então, um, é para tirar essa aqui é, é para cá, né? Tá bom. Rapidinho, minuto. So guys, I have to remove this. Uh, I have to remove this jacket. Okay. I have to remove it. Yes, so all right. Yes, so, all right. So, guys, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> this is for my channel, okay? I have a channel of YouTube. So, I'm still recording. Can you open the door? Yes. Tá bom. O grande parte. Dãozinha. Foi. Guys, it's quick. Pode abrir mão ou fechar? Tá bom. Alright, so it's very quick. She's taking my blood samples, and uh, nobody likes needles, right? Nobody likes needles. Yes. Uh. <sighs> Mm, okay. <laughs> tá bom. All right, so um, she's going to put something they call, uh, I don't know, it's like a plaster. Uh, okay. Posso? All right. Você vai manter pressão. Ele tá está a dobrar o braço e pegar peso de 3 a 5 minutinhos para não voltar a sangrar. Tá bom. Ah, tá bom. Obrigado. Tá bom. Tá bom. Rapidinho. Seu nome? <risos> Rabi Rafael. Tá certinho. Certo? Ok, tem um cafezinho, um lanchinho ali ao lado da recepção que já serve pra vontade, tá bom? Ok. Tá bom, eu vou ir. Só vou me vestir pra poder ir. Pessoal, guys, Xisé, você quer falar oi pra eles? Só fala bom dia. Bom dia! Isso. Se você quer seguir também, eu vou te dar o nome para você. Tá bom, então. Eu tenho. É Corre Code que fala? É Corre Code, né? Isso! Esse aqui. É inglês e português. Você tem que escolher qual que você quer seguir. O primeiro tem português. Dois canais. Isso. Já foi? Já foi. Ok, o outro aqui. 
Esse é o de português? Não, esse é em inglês. Esse que você tirou é de português. Ah, então. Então. So, guys, she's following the Portuguese version. Obrigado. Qual o seu nome? Lohan. Lohan? É, o nome é extraordinário. Obrigado. Bom dia pra você. Tá bom. Tchau, tchau. Até mais. Alright, so guys, I've been able to uh, finish up with the test. So now I'm going to get something. I think if you want to eat something, you can eat something here. Bom dia, bom dia. Oh, um café simples. Ah, tem cappuccino? Tem. Por favor, me, me, me dá um cappuccino. Guys, they have variety of stuffs here. Por favor, eu posso mostrar para meu povo? So, Nossa. Uh, tá bom. They have variety of things here. They have tea, café, and much more things. I think I, I ordered this one here. Yes, it's called cappuccino. Bom dia! Eu estou gravando para mostrar para o povo que está me seguindo. Muito obrigado. Pode ficar à vontade, tá? Não, só isso mesmo. O pão de queijo, quer não? Ah, pão de queijo. Eu vou pegar um. Muito obrigado. Yes, so guys, there is actually a place for me to sit. So, after, after the test, you can simply eat something. So they gave me this one. It is a, it is a cappuccino, okay? I don't really like sugar too much. It is very nice, guys. Very nice. I also have the machine at home though. Yes, I have a machine at home. And this one here, this is called Pondi Keiju, okay? It's a cheese bread. It is a Brazilian food, okay? If you come to Brazil, it's common to, to come across it. It is nice, you see? Very nice. If you come to Brazil, I think it's recommendable. You have to try it out. So, after the test, they will tell you to drink something or eat something. But it depends on you if you really want to drink it. You understand? In my case, I decided to drink it because I wanted to show you guys. And um, it is very good. It's not bad. So, where are you watching me from? Let me know where you are watching me from. And if in your country you have this kind of thing, you can also let me know. Guys, it's very good. Mm. And you know, it is hot. So, if this happens in any of the, uh, what do you call it? This kind of clinics, okay? You go to do, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, any type of test. Any type of test. After you finish, you can come and then eat something. Whether it's in the morning, in the evening, or in the night, there is always something for you to eat. Mm, this is good. So, I'm going to tell you to try it if you come to Brazil. Mm. I like it. I know you might be asking, I'm overacting, but it's not overacting because it's very good. Then my my kids they like it so much. I'm enjoying these guys. Guys, you are watching me. You like this channel? Please subscribe to the channel. Leave your comment at the comment section. It is absolutely free to subscribe to this channel, and also click the bell button. Because if you don't click the bell button. There is no way you can simply get any notification as soon as I post any video. Guys, hmm. yeah, this is good. This is very good. After this, 
I'm going to take you guys for a walk a little bit. I want you guys to see a bit how people live here in Brazil. You know my channel is all about this. All right, so guys, I'm done. Bom dia para você. Muito obrigado. <laughs> All right, so guys, I'm done and I am going. I'll be coming back again for this type of test, okay? And um, ciao, ciao. Bom dia. <laughs> yes, so guys, I'm done. So now, what next? Let's work a little bit because I think it is very important to show you guys around a little bit. And let me fix my headphone. I use this watch. You might be asking what kind of watch it is because this watch here it has headphones, Bluetooth headphones. I don't like to be walking around with a lot of gadgets in my pocket so um i bought this watch here because it has headphones you can you can see right this is these are the headphones here and uh yeah i use them when i need them so here is uh august claros okay here is august claros i brought um Marwa here some time ago when he came here I brought him here and yeah this building here is new the place I, I parked my car is is new I remember I used to come here and then park my car where the building is it was empty they didn't have a building over there and guess what it is a gym center it is a very big gym center I think it's a high time I start, you know, like, I start gym, I start training. Guys, let me run to cross <laughs> the road. You know, one good thing about Brasilia is when you are in Brasilia, okay, uh, and you want to cross a road like this, okay, when you are in Brasilia, and you want to cross a road like this, they have a, a zebra crossing. So when you stand close to the zebra crossing, uh, the cars will automatically stop for you to cross. So this is how it looks like in a regular, uh, what do you call it? In a regular day, okay? This is a working day. Today is Tuesday, okay? It is Tuesday in Aguas Claras here in Brazil. <laughs> yes, it is Tuesday. So I'm only trying to show you guys around a bit of how it looks during the week. During the week, it looks like this. Very, very busy. <laughs> it's busy. And all these buildings that you are seeing here, only few are for business, okay? The ones here, people live inside. They are people's houses. And the ones here that you see, they are shops, offices, and other stuffs. You understand? All right, so I will also try and then bring you a content uh, during the weekend so that you can also have an idea of how it also look during the weekend like Saturdays, Sundays because majority of uh, the working class they live here 
okay, in Aguas Claras, when you come to Brasilia, let me make this clear. Brasilia is simply the, the capital of Brazil, okay, the capital city of Brazil, okay? I think I have said that in most of my videos. Brasilia is the capital city of uh, Brazil, okay? All right, so, like I was saying, I will try as much as I can to bring you guys a content during the weekend. And uh, what I had wanted to do also is to show you guys that here, they have a very huge park, okay? Uh, it's not only about store buildings here, but they have also huge parks here too as well. So I'm trying to see if I can walk towards the park. And then also answer some of your questions too as well, because I see there are comments under most of my videos. So I want to take the chance to answer some of your comments too as well. Let me see here. Um, I'm reading some of the comments. I'm reading some of the comments here. Okay, so uh, someone was asking me if uh, it's possible to see black people just like me here in Brasilia. <laughs> it's possible to see black people just like me here in Brasilia, but it's not that much. It's not that much like if you go to Rio de Janeiro, Bahia and stuff like that here. You don't see too much black people here, okay? You don't see too much black people here. Uh, even though, like I said, most of these people, they consider themselves to be blacks, okay? They simply consider themselves to be blacks. But then, for us who are simply from Africa, uh we don't consider them to be blacks they are not blacks for us because they are mixed people they are people who are mixed with whites and other race so they are simply not blacks for us okay so let me just basically say here in brasilia you come across black people yes but it's not like in rio de janeiro or it's not like in bahia or any part of Brazil where it's popularly known for, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a lot of uh, black people, you understand? So, um, so in case you come to Brasilia, uh, you won't see a lot of black people. You will see most are white people. You can see from my video. You can simply see and tell from my video. Most are white people, and most of them too are mixed people too as well. So should in case you decide coming to Brasilia, uh, possibility of you seeing, uh, what do you call it? Black people, you see them, but you will not see as much as in Rio de Janeiro. You can tell from most of my videos, if you're watching my videos so i'm grateful for that at least you guys are following whatever content i used to post so because of you guys i'm now trying to post more now every now and then because of you guys because i'm a very lazy youtuber very very lazy youtuber and i simply don't like posting regularly but I'm doing this just because of you guys. I'm doing this just what? Just for the sake of you guys. So, um, what I'm saying is, 
it's free to subscribe it's very free to subscribe so please subscribe is free just click i know some of you watch the channel but you're not subscribers yet but please try and then subscribe to this channel okay try as much as you can to subscribe to this channel because i'll bring you more interesting content like what you are seeing now because i know most of you want to know more about brazil most of you uh see uh only one percent of brazil on your tv screens okay most of you see only one percent of brazil on your tv screen so um guys hold on a second guys hold on a second Hold on a second, guys. I don't want to... I want to make sure my microphone is working, okay? I want to make sure my microphone is working because I remember I posted some video some days ago. <laughs> no, I think yesterday. The video that I posted yesterday, it was absolutely, you know, like, unexpected. <laughs> For a person to record a video and then at the long run missing the audio and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so what I'm saying is, click the bell button if you want more content because I know you only see one percent of Brazil on your uh, on your screens. So this is a part of Brazil that you will see and you'll be shocked. You understand and you will at least have a very good idea of how brazil typically looks like you see like i said each and every time there is constructions going on like there are new uh, uh, projects here in brazil okay they have a lot of projects here in brazil so uh let me say this guys everywhere you go there are simply places for you to see trees green grass a place to rest or a place to sit it is common here in brazil okay it is very very common so yeah back to what i was talking about about seeing a lot of black people here you don't see a lot of black people here you can tell from my videos all you see it's a lot of what a lot of white people here and also mixed people too as well for you to come across black people like me it is a bit rare it's a bit rare this particular state i'm talking about this particular state i'm not talking about the whole of brazil because there are places like rio de janeiro bahia and all that where at least you can get uh, to see more black people who look just like me but here it's not common. It's not common to simply see uh, such black people. Okay, we have them. Like for example, the test, the place I went to do the test. You see, the two ladies who attended to me are simply uh, here. They consider them to be black. You understand? They consider them to be black, but they are not black. They are mixed. So these are the type of black people you will be seeing should in case you come to Brazil, okay? This is the park. The park, the park is right in front of me. Yes, so the park is right in front of me. I had wanted to take you guys through the park for you guys to see the park. But I'll show you guys. Don't, don't be just take it easy with me. <laughs> because, like I said, I want to start taking a walk. Because I don't normally walk that much. That is why I left my car far away so that I'll take the advantage to walk some few uh, kilometers ahead. Wow, you see? Before, here was in a park. 
a car park, okay? So you see, now they are building a car park for people to be able to park their cars. You see, this is very good, guys. This is, it looks just like Tagua, Tagua Chinga Park. We have a park called Tagua Park, okay? So this is how the park looks. I'll take you guys through, I'll go inside, but not today, okay? But I had wanted to also take you guys through for you guys to see how inside the park is. And another time, I will also come back and then show you the park during the weekends. Because now it is weekdays. But even though it is weekdays, they still have a lot of people in the park. They still have people who are in the park and people walk their dogs. You see, this is a very nice dog. A very big one. <laughs> yes. I like dogs. I like dogs. Maybe someday I'll get one dog. Yes. So, um, I just want you to get a view of the park. So, some people live close to the park though. Some people live close to the park. And these are car parks, okay? You come to the park, then you can park your car. But now I see they are constructing a new, uh, what do you call it? A new car park. Yeah, but I, I will try and then show you a bit of the park so that you guys can at least see what I'm talking about. Then another time, I will... Uh, I will come back during the weekend to give you a full content of the park. We have, in fact, we have, we have a lot of parks, okay? But I'll make sure I'll take you guys one after the other. And I also, don't forget to remind me, uh, here in Brasilia, we have favelas, okay? We have favelas, but it will shock you if I take you to a place here in Brasilia where we consider it to be a favela. You won't believe it. You think it's a joke. It's not a favela. Because basically, it's going to look like a place where uh, a working class live. But it is actually considered a favela. You understand? So, um, yeah, this is the park. This is how the park looks. The park looks like this. It is very huge. You can see people are, are walking inside the park, right? You can see people walking inside the park. So um, I just want to try and then see if I can walk a little bit further and then enter inside the park so that you guys uh, will completely have an idea that it is a park, okay? It's a park, it's not just a forest. It is a park where you can walk your dog. I'll do another content to also talk about Dogs, you know, like owning pets here. People like pets here, but I will do an exclusive content for that one for you guys who like to have, uh, what do you call it, to own a pet. Uh, I think Brazil is one of the best places to own pets, okay? So I'll do a special, uh, what do you call it, a special content for you guys, okay? I'll do a special content for you guys here. Pets, they live like humans, okay? But I'm going to do a special content for you guys. So like I was saying, um, it is not common. It is it is actually not common to, uh, what do you call it? To see black people here in Brasilia. I mean, black people who look like me, it is not common to see them. So I hope I answer your question. But like I said, the possibility of you getting to meet Afro-Brazilian is high if you live here too as well. But the thing is, what they call Afro-Brazilian is not what we call, what we see it to be Afro. You understand? The yeah, Afro-Brazilians look mixed. You understand? So um, this is what I am actually trying to to, to simply tell you guys. I know I don't like posting long content. 
I don't like to see long content, but I know you guys uh, you love long content because I know most of you my viewers now, most of you are from yeah, so <clears throat> so this is this is the entrance this is how it looks and there is a very big store building here too as well there is always we have a lot of these store buildings here so this is the entrance of the park so this is how it looks you see this is how it looks it looks like this you see so it is weekday, it is weekday. So once it's weekday, you won't see much people like that. You understand? It is a weekday, so you will see a lot of people. You only see some few people. But during the weekend, when you come here, it is full. So that is another content that I'm going to make sure I bring you guys. You know, you, I love the view. I love the view. Look at the view. Just look at the view. It is spectacular we are in winter so that is why the trees and the grass look like this winter it is very dry it is not rainy it is not wet it is winter so this is how it looks when it is simply winter okay so um guys i hope you guys love this particular content and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel click the bell button after subscription and share the channel too as well and yeah, this is one of our parks. It's called Aguas Claras Park. And I have, in fact, I have a lot of interesting content for you guys. Some of the interesting, interesting things we have here in Brasilia. For example, the trees we have here, they are not just trees in Brasilia, okay? They are also, uh, they are very productive. They are very important. And I'll do a content on that one too. Leave your comment at the comment section if you love my content. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. I know uh, I did a very long content. Don't forget, it's your boy, the Supreme Leader. Here with you. Yes, I'm new for you guys. And my contents are new. They are completely new. So, what I can always tell you guys is what? Don't forget, guys. Don't what? Don't forget. Look at me. I'm serious. I said what? Let me put... In fact... Because of how serious I am, let me put the camera down here and then, you know, give you guys my serious, my serious face. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share the channel, and also click the bell button after subscription. I said what? Don't forget. If you forget, it's a big problem with you and me. So it's, don't forget. It's no, no, no. Don't forget. I'll see you guys in my next content and um i'm going to walk back to my car i'm going to walk back to my car and then i'll go back home and yes guys i love this kind of dogs they are so cute they are it is what what is the name uh, it's cool but this dog is called uh yeah, Sasha. Sasha. i love them yeah. they are so beautiful man so uh, you you bought it yeah, a, little, a, a, little, a little, little baby, and it's, how long does it take to, to grow this big? Uh, about six months. Six months. Yeah, six months. Man, I have no. to get one. Yeah. I love yeah. them so much. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm a YouTuber, so if you want to follow my channel too. Um, so that you can also comment, if possible, one day we can do some videos together. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this is my channel. It is the QR code. Oh, nice. Yes, very simple, right? Awesome. Yes. From Africa to South America. Yeah. Yes. Me. Okay. People are curious about Brazil, you know? Yeah. People don't really know much about Brazil. Yeah, they don't know. They don't know. You know what they think about Brazil? The thing in Brazil is only favela and... Uh, what do you call it? Rio de Janeiro. Yeah. But I don't know. We have beautiful. Anything here. You know, like and a lot of beautiful things here. Yeah. Oh, I love your shout out. <laughs> All right. Enjoy. Your... Don't forget to comment, subscribe. All right. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. 
guys it is what it is i have to leave you guys the people are nice and i'll see you guys in my next video till then bye bye <laughs>